All right, so my friend Swinky Box is working on publishing a book. Swinky, congrats, my man. But he asked me to interview for it, and the questions that he asked really got me thinking about my goals with YouTube. And so before we get into this week's software, I want to share a quick story with you all. At the start of my YouTube adventures in 2010, I actually produced a prank channel, believe it or not. I was fresh out of high school, and it was the best my friends and I could make with our available resources. But I learned a lot about building an audience back then. We used to upload once every week or two, and looking back, yeah, it was very hard. Yes, it required a tremendous amount of thought and sacrifices. And yes, our videos often weren't the best they could be due to time constraints. It was literally pencils down every seven days, no matter what what but this process helped us grow our channel to 50,000 subscribers and i mean obviously this makes sense uploading the best content is kind of pointless if youtube promotes creators that keep viewers coming back if it's every week that i don't upload passes by youtube is constantly telling you the subscriber that my channel is less and less important was spending all that time polishing the video even worth it it's an interesting equation to think about. But after reflecting from Swinky's interview, I think I became too much of a prissy perfectionist. It's time to bring back this pencils down strategy. And so that's why I want to introduce this week's software idea appropriately titled the YouTube Pencils Down Application, Airhorn. So where do we begin? If I want any shot at uploading consistently, I need to change the way that I'm doing things. This is the old way that I used to try and stay on schedule absolutely disgusting let's just throw that away much better now here's the new way that i want to try and stay on schedule i'm going to write simple software that aims to achieve three things number one show me the last video that i uploaded number two tell me how long ago that video was uploaded and number three show me what i currently should be doing with my day which i think is a far better solution the idea here is seeing these image reminders repeatedly over time will hopefully evoke emotional connections to these images you know for example i open up the app i see the pencils down image and right off the bat subconsciously i'll be able to figure out what i do have time for what i don't have time for and where i should start taking shortcuts <laughs> That's how science works, right? And just to try and guarantee success, I'm gonna have this software on display on my wall 24 seven. Okay, so technically speaking, how can we do this? Well, first, we're gonna use one of my favorite things to use in software development called an API. What? What's an API, you ask? Oh, well, please don't mind if I do. The definition of an API will change slightly depending on what type of software developer you ask, but on the most basic level, this is how I came to understand them. An API is some sort of shortcut that is used to build software. For comparison, if you've ever cooked ribs before, sorry to all my vegetarians out there, it's likely that you went to the store, bought raw ribs, marinated however you liked, cooked it however you liked, and then served it. Now, of course, instead, you could have maybe bought a baby calf and then raised that baby calf calf to become a cow and then butcher that cow and got raw ribs that way, you saved a lot of time and maybe even frustration for not knowing how to do this from scratch. The purchase raw ribs from the store is like an API. It was a shortcut that you used to make ribs. Make sense, right? Right? Okay, cool. Now back to our application of an API in our software. We're gonna use a YouTube API to be specific, which will be a shortcut to get live data from YouTube channels instead of trying to write code to do it from scratch. A lot like butchering cows, I do not mind saving a lot of time and frustration using this shortcut. Why reinvent the wheel if you don't have to? And you know what they say, an API a day keeps the gray hairs away. And all right, my software successfully talks to a YouTube API. I can input any channel ID and it'll give me all the public data that I need as seen here. Channel name, title of the last few videos uploaded, date and times they were uploaded, thumbnail URLs, stats on the videos, and so much more. And this is when software developing really makes me feel like a superhero. Because with this data, I can organize it any way that I want. I can collect data in mass and make some sort of hypothesis from it. I can create some sort of YouTube database company like Social Blade, VidStats X, VidIQ, blah blah blah. I can shut up and continue to write this pencils down software. Right. Now that the API part is out of the way, it's pretty much done. All that's left to do is just pretty much make the user interface, which will include the data that I think I'll need to help me upload consistently. So, on that note, prepare yourself for a super mind-blowing user interface. <laughs> All right, and here we are. 
please refrain from flooding my comment section with how incredible the user interface is. But going from top to bottom, you have a settings button that when pressed will hide and show two input fields. Inputting your channel ID into this first input field will make all the stats correlate with your channel. And the second field here represents the days that you're aiming to be consistent. Maybe you want to upload something every seven days or maybe even every 365 days. And if so, holy hell, please email me what you're working on. I am genuinely curious. Next, your thumbnail to the last upload is displayed, pretty straightforward, followed by some text that tells you how many days the last video was uploaded and its title, and lastly, of course, the reminder images. I guess the final detail that's missing is that the Pencils Down app refreshes every hour, meaning every hour it will check the API for upload updates. This app is going to live on my wall displaying 24 seven. So wish me luck with trying to use this app to be a little more YouTube consistent. Marking little notes in my calendar just isn't powerful enough. And I don't know about you, but I think you guys deserve a lot more uploads. Anywho, this app is now live on the Android app store. And I know as much as it pains me to release apps with horrible user interfaces, this is as far as I can get in a pencils down period. Not to mention it's already telling me that my last video was 15 days ago. So yeah, I might update it later in the future. I don't know, but it's functional for now. So this is what we get. But in good news, if you want to improve upon this app, you can because I'm releasing this open source. So you just need to get your own YouTube API key first and it's all yours. I actually wrote a pretty nice little backend library to make this pretty seamless to work with. So have at it. All right, guys, that's an end for this project. I hope that you find some sort of value in the YouTube pencils down that. But whatever the case may be, remember to always feed your curiosity.